as you can see, those picture cards help tell us a lot about the movie that we're watching, right? Those picture cards are all very different based on what franchise they're in, what time period they're in, the genre. Um, all of those different things are going to be reflected in the picture card. For instance, those military tr uh, tanks and trucks uh, and cars from Translab that they drive around the island, they actually built multiple versions of that mobile lab for production. This one on the left happens to be a model made entirely out of plywood. It did appear on screen. This was built specifically for the scene where a T-Rex pushes it off the edge of a cliff. And as you come around the back, you can take a look behind you and see some of the paint there is peeling, which reveals the plywood underneath. So the reason they did that was to make it lightweight. Oh. So sorry about that, guys. Okay, well, can't say I didn't warn you. You guys didn't think I was kidding about the dinosaurs, but did you? Because I was not. Not kidding. Those are Dilophosauruses. They are mostly harmless. I gotta say, I've never seen them attack on a day like today. I mean, if the Jurassic Park movie's not as anything, it's that dinosaurs only attack when it's dark and rainy. But we don't get too much. I've seen things like Westworld on HBO. It was Peru for Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Boy, that does not sound like it's letting up. You know, it's hard for me to tell from up here, but uh, cars three and four, can you guys just scream for me really loud if you see anything coming? Oh, okay, okay, yep, yep, definitely something coming. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Well, that escalated quickly. But don't worry, folks. None of that was real. It was all fake. Even the water was fake. Oh, I know. It is real water. What we do is we shoot it into overhead sprinklers straight up into the air and let it fall back down to earth naturally with a technique we in the filmmaking industry call gravity. Works every time. Uh, but here we are crossing the border, leaving old Mexico behind us as we head into the old west. Now, our western sets can be seen in the upcoming...
So even just by buying your tickets to be here today, you're already joining our fight. So congratulations. If you have a map or our zoo app, download it on your phone. I recommend that you have it out during our time together. That way you can follow along, see where we're going, and see what you might want to take a closer look at later on. Our zoo does close at 5 o'clock tonight, so make sure you plan accordingly. The best way to see our animals is by walking by their actual habitats and getting as close a look at them as you can. But for right now, we're going to dive down into the lost forest. Just a few safety tips for our time together. Please make sure you've got all hands, arms, feet, legs, heads, torsos, all valuables. Yes, that includes your children. Inside of the bus at all times. We are going to be getting pretty close to some cool animals and plants along our way. Look. You're more than welcome to stand up and get a closer look at any of us. Snap some photos if you'd like. I just ask that you keep your feet on the floor and a hand on the railings at all times. Uh, yeah. Now up top, if you can hear me okay, can you wave your arms in the air like monkeys? Alright, cool, so like half of the upper deck can hear me. What about down below? Can you guys hear me okay? Perfect. Well, first up is my favorite animal at the zoo. We're coming up on our Malayan tigers on our right-hand side. You can find them. As you can tell, they are pretty large. Now, tigers are unfortunately an endangered species, largely due to the power of your purse to buy sustainably resourced goods and preserve animal homes all over the world. Next up is an animal just as vicious as our tigers, but they have tilapia. So who likes fish tacos? Hey. Yeah, those tilapia eat hippo poop. Let <laughs> 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 me go for the mahi mahi tonight just to feel a little safer. Here is one of our Asian elephants, Devi. Now pachyderms have about a one inch thick skin, very good for protecting them from the elements and from insults every time. Our elephants love them. How many do you think it takes to get an elephant to cooperate? <laughs> You're probably thinking hundreds, maybe even thousands, but would you believe me if I told you it only took about five or six? Yeah, they're very food motivated animals, not unlike. <laughs>
hand you picture. I see a gag away, boy. Yeah, there's a little thing. It's a little lizard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they just went where you came from. <laughs> I don't like all these weird hexagons. You know, that's a cute monkey. Yeah. That's a cute. That's a baby. Yeah. Yes. It's a mother. Oh, yeah. All right, there, bud. We're good. We got breath. Yes, <laughs> Okay, I'm not putting you in, look, the vet on track channel. No, she won't be able to check. Bueno.
Yes. You want to eat? Thank you.